Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this quick video, we will break down what Microsoft Sentinel playbooks are and will walk you through a demonstration to see them in action. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future updates. The Microsoft Sentinel playbooks allow you to orchestrate the response to the incidents. That is what makes the Microsoft Sentinel a SOAR tool that stands for Security Orchestration and Automated Response. With the help of the Microsoft Sentinel playbooks, you can respond to many threats or the incidents automatically. The Microsoft Sentinel playbooks are nothing but the logic apps that let you create the workflows for automation with the help of a lot of SAS API connectors offered by Microsoft. If we look at the security operation model, if you look at the bottom layer, that is the automation where we automate the investigation and the remediation for the well-known attacks. After that, we do the triages to reduce the false flags or the false positives and to increase the number of true positives. Then it is the investigation, the tier 2 and then the hunting is done by the tier 3. So at the bottom you see that most of the or the repeated or well known attacks can be remediated automatically with the help of automation which can reduce the fatigue for the security teams. So without any further ado, let's have a look how do we work with these playbooks in Microsoft Sentinel and see them in action. To create the Sentinel playbooks, I'm going to the Azure portal, portal.azure.com and in the free search, searching for Microsoft Sentinel. I already have the Microsoft Sentinel solution in this subscription. I will open this and will look for the Sentinel playbooks under the configuration. We have several blades here as you see they are classified as general threat management which helps you to do the uh, incident management and then we have the content management under the configuration there is something called automation under the automation blade you have the options to create the automation rules and the playbooks if you look at this uh, subscription right now so there is no playbook in this and there is no automation rule specified well, the automation rules allow you to centrally manage all the automation of the incident handling. You can change the incident uh, status. You have the option to create these automation rules or the playbooks with the incident triggers, alert triggers or entity triggers. These triggers are automatically added. I'm going with blank playbook so that I can show you that from scratch by adding the triggers as well. As I mentioned earlier that playbooks are nothing but the logic apps. So in the logic apps we have the triggers and the actions. To create this logic app I need to choose a hosting plan be it consumption based model which means that whenever the logic app will be triggered I will be charged for that duration or I can choose other options from here. I will click on create and will choose my subscription resource group a friendly name for this uh, playbook or this logic app and the region where I want to create it. The name I'm providing is to notify via email. I'm creating this playbook to notify the security team for or about any incident through the email. You can use it for notification to be sent through different collaboration platforms be it Microsoft Teams, Slack or any other that you want to use. Either you can use the built-in API connectors or you can develop or onboard your own API connections as well. As I mentioned, that logic app allows you to create the automation workflows. Well, finally, I will create this logic app. We'll click on create button. It'll take few seconds to create this logic app. After this, my next task will be to use the logic app designer to develop that automation workflow which will be used to notify the security teams about any incident in microsoft sentinel well this logic app is deployed let's go to the resource 
and uh, open this logic app in the logic app you have the several blades that you can use for identity and access management for access control you can configure the settings about this logic app be it the access control configuration you want to configure you have the development tools where there is a blade called logic app designer you can use to develop the automation workflow here or if you are a developer then you can use the ide tools like visual studio code with the extensions to develop these logic apps the first thing i'm first thing i'm adding here is the trigger as i mentioned earlier that the logic apps have the trigger and the actions so the trigger specifies that what will trigger this logic app I could have selected this trigger when I created the uh, a playbook at that time it was giving me the option to choose the incident as a trigger or alert as a trigger I did not select that to create it from blank now I can choose the connection method to the Microsoft Sentinel connector as a trigger either via OAuth or using the managed identities or service principles when I choose this OAuth, so I need to authenticate here with my account that will establish the connectivity of this uh, API connector of Microsoft Sentinel with using this account I have selected. Well, once this connection is established, this connection can also be used further in this uh, automation workflow wherever the common connection is required. Now once i have specified the trigger which is the microsoft sentinel alert that as soon as a microsoft sentinel alert is generated or i could have selected incident then the action will be taken so now i have to choose that what will be the next action after the trigger so the action that i want right now is the uh, i want to get the incident details from the alert because the alert has been triggered that's fine the playbook has been triggered now i need to collect some information about this so to collect the alert details i can use the pipeline and the information from my previous activity which is microsoft sentinel alert so here you will see that there are lots of dynamic uh, content or dynamic options available because of that api connection and the previous task so i have selected the subscription id dynamically instead of typing that manually over here then the next thing it is looking for the resource group where that alert will be so rather than specifying this resource group manually again i am taking it dynamically then the workspace id so the log analytics workspace where i have this alert i will choose that also dynamically and then this is the alert id so i will choose the system alert id in this so this uh, will fetch the information from the previous activity based on this provided detail of the subscription if i want i can configure the additional automation options like i want to de decompress the uh, request body if the compressed uh, it is compressed using the gzip so i can configure such settings i have the option to code view which where i can see the code of this logic app which i'm creating graphically basically so that is the advantage of using the logic apps that you do not need a lot of development skills all you need is the automation skills to automate a workflow now because i want to send an email uh, for the alerts so i'm choosing the outlook i can use the personal outlook over here i'm in the outlook uh, using my personal microsoft account so it's that outlook.com you use for you know with your personal microsoft account or you can use office 365 so in my case i'm going to use this office 365 outlook with my work account so i will send the email through the work account of mine i will establish the connection with this uh, outlook office 365 by signing in so this will establish a connectivity we'll click on uh, sign in here and will authenticate myself using my work account here is the work account i have selected and a connection will be established now because i have selected send an email action through the outlook office 365 connector so i have been provided with these parameters for an instance i will have to provide the email ids to whom i want to send the emails i'm sending this to myself on my personal email id the subject line i can put some static content or dynamic content here the static content i have put let's say sentinel alert colon and then i'm using some dynamic content from the previous activity that is the alert get incident 
so i have a lot of information available here that i can fetch so i have put the alert display name as the subject line of the email now i'm again putting some static content here like hi navneet and uh, there is a sentinel alert for your attention so this body of the email will have this uh, static content in it and then if i want i can attach some dynamic data along with this so i put alert and the alert description for example the details not only the display name that is there in the subject line so this is the alert description i have used the dynamic content so it will pick it automatically based on the alert description that we have provided in the uh, analytics rules and uh, then this is the another information i'm putting here is let's see the alert type what type of alert it is alert type finally i can provide some advanced parameters like i want to put someone in cc bcc or i want to define the attachment sensitivity so these things can be configured here we have options to configure the settings again for this uh, automatic decompression and we can have a look at this in the code view now this is my automation workflow which is having only three things in it one is the trigger and two are the actions so the one trigger is that the sentinel alert as soon as the alert is triggered the incident information will be retrieved and will be sent over the email using that connector now i go to the automation to show you the playbook over here so under the active playbooks i will see that there is one playbook which is consumption based model but there is no trigger kind specified for this and in, in, in fact it is not initialized so far so I have uh, the option to associate it with my analytics rules. When we create the detection rules in the Microsoft Sentinel, we can choose the auto remediation during that. So I have a few detection rules in this uh, Microsoft Sentinel workspace. And the one is that it will detect any activity when the attempts to the sign in to sign in uh, to the disabled account so if any any anyone tries to sign in using the disabled accounts it will detect that activity so that will be turned that event will be turned into the alerts and alert will be turned into the incident the threshold i have configured is one so even from a single application you try to log in through a disabled account it will be detected and uh, the uh, alert threshold that i've configured is that even if the zero incident i mean uh, excuse me more than zero i must say so even if one incident is found of this type of uh, this 50057 uh, that is uh, the attempt uh, uh, to log in from this disabled account th that's an entra id sign in activity so i want that uh, it should trigger an incident and on that incident i want to automatically respond to it so under the automated response where earlier nothing was configured this time i'm going to use that when the incident is created or when incident is updated or when alert is created on what uh, condition i want this uh, uh, automation rule to run so i have selected this uh, action that is run playbook and i will choose the playbook i need to configure the permissions for that playbook so i will provide these permissions from here manage playbook permissions and on that target resource group where my uh, playbook is i will provide the access to this analytics rule so that it can read that uh, playbook fr from here so that i can associate it here so this is the sentinel rg the resource group where the playbook was created i have selected it now after managing these permissions i will see that playbook coming over here so notify via email and then finally i click on apply i will save this detection rule this analytics rule in the microsoft sentinel where i have configured the automated response through a playbook now the next task that i need to do is that is to trigger an incident so as you have seen the detection rule i configured was about detecting any attempt from a disabled account i'm trying to make an attempt for a disabled account so i log into the portal.azure.com from the uh, incognito window and i log in through an account the account is actually a legitimate account but actually account is in the disabled state account has been disabled by admin for some reasons so i'm trying to detect any activities if anyone tries to make the uh, attempts to log in through these disabled accounts so uh, this 
is the attempt I have made from a disabled account and since I have done it now so this was the account that is in the disabled state as you see here I go to the Microsoft Sentinel Sentinel workspace and look for the incident it was my scheduled query the detection rule was scheduled to run every five minutes so I will wait for some time and it takes some time so it is coming up over here now this is the uh, incident which is the previous incident old incident basically this is last 48 hours you see the criteria on the top so it is an old incident this is uh, here the option that i can run the playbook in case uh, i mean i have any playbook associated with the detection rule that will be listed you can refresh that and it will be listed but uh, this is my old incident it was created a uh, few hours back uh, in a different session i generated that i need to wait for here so as you see in the last 24 hours there is no incident now i will pause and resume the video will come back after some time here so i can see the incidents and there is one incident coming up this is the incident incident id is 2 as you see and there is one alert generated and it is in the last 24 hours so this has been recently generated on that account you see the entities associated with this is lab at cloud360.co account now you can look for the alert as well so this uh, is the query the custo query that will return that alert based on the query logic specified attempt to sign in to, to disabled account was made and now if i show you my gmail account where the email was supposed to be sent through the playbook so i can uh, see this uh, email that has been triggered by that logic app and uh, this was the subject line and this is the body where i have some static content and then, and then the dynamic content associated with that well this is how we configure the sentinel playbooks